Okay, so the question is, we have a client with a 44249 from Ultra, a standard duty commercial cylindrical clutch lever lock, and the client wants a double cylinder grade two commercial deadbolt in a dull chrome finish to match. So what I would do is I like to pull up the manufacturer's catalog, and then if you were to search for the part number 44249, you're certainly going to get to the area where you'll find that lock, but the concept is you're going to be in the general area where there are lock sets and deadbolts. And as I scroll through and look here, commercial deadbolts, which is on page 31 or the 137th page of this current document, client wants stain satin stainless steel there's a typo in the catalog. US 32 means polished. That's certainly not what they're selling. They're certainly selling satin chrome. Um, heavy duty grade two six pin. Okay, so the part number you're gonna want is 43755 to pick up your double cylinder deadbolt. So let's add this lock. Let's add the double cylinder deadbolt. It shows gold, but we know that it's a double cylinder stainless steel now we've got the lock and the deadbolt added to the cart let me check to make sure let's get rid of this from a prior okay so now we've got the deadbolt in addition, the client is looking for four more doors with entry cylindrical double deadbolt two and three eighths. So the client is asking for four more doors that are going to need entry cylindrical double deadbolt. Would like a lever at two and three eighths. So I'm thinking the client actually means to say they want a I'm not actually sure what the client's asking for. They're either asking for more double cylinder deadbolts at a two and three eighths back set. And the good thing about the back set is that they are adjustable two and three eighths or two and three quarter, according to the manufacturer's catalog. Um, however, if the client is asking for a double keyed lock set where it's a lever lock two and three eighths that will have a key in each of the two levers, Ultra is not gonna manufacture that at all. We're going to have to go to a uh, more mainstream commercial hardware manufacturer like Schlage or Arrow. Arrow would be my choice because they have a grade two lever that is keyed both sides. It's called an institutional lock, but there are variants of institutional locks where it will be always keyed on both sides. Me, pardon me. It's always, it's always keyed on both sides. It can be always locked on both sides, and inserting a key will do nothing other than retract the latch bolt. So that would be a storeroom function on both sides. Alternatively, you can have a storeroom on one side and a classroom function on the other. A classroom function is where you can leave the lever locked in all instances, or via the key, you can leave it unlocked in all instances. You can have a double classroom. You can have a key in one lever that will affect the change on the opposite side lock as well. So it gets kind of convoluted. We, if we're dealing with institutional locks, double keys in lever locks, we have to define the functionality. Key to like as much as possible you're asking for. Yeah, sure, of course. Um, so what we're going to do here in a key to like scenario is we have a code in the website That is, let's pull it up, which is our code keying labor code, KCR, that cost is $12. So for every cylinder that you're going to key, you're going to add one of these. Then you're going to have a cut key charge. So whenever we rekey locks, we're certainly always going to be throwing away the keys that come with the lock because we are, we are um, rekeying them. So we won't be able to utilize any of the keys that we have and have to cut new keys. 
That part number is cut key, cut key charge. That's $2 per key. So let's review. So you've got a lock, you've got a deadbolt. We're not sure about these double deadbolt lever two and three eighths back sets. You need one cut key charge for every single key the client wants. When you sell a job of locks that are keyed alike, is assume that none of the keys that are included are going to work in the new system when we key them alike. They are all going to get thrown in the garbage after we pin them all alike. You then need a labor code for every single cylinder. So if I was going to sell the client a, a lever lock and a double cylinder deadbolt, and he wanted six keys, you're going to change that to two, or you're going to change it to three. We got one cylinder here. We have two cylinders here. I'm going to make that three. Now, what you're going to give yourself on this project is a lever lock, a deadbolt, all keyed alike with six total keys. Okay, that's how you go about doing that. Let me know if you need any other help on this double deadbolt cylindrical lever. Thank you.